Okay guys, welcome back to this week's episode. Now we're at Bally Dive Resort. We want to show you one of the best dives in this area. It's gonna be one of the dives on a trip coming up in October. You don't wanna miss out. If you want to join us, details below. But what are we gonna be diving? Now we're diving the USAT Liberty Shipwreck, which almost every single year, this makes the top 10 wrecks in the world. It's on its side on the sea bottom. It sits at about 25, 27 meters at the deepest, and then about 10 to 15 at the shallowest. Loads and loads of life, macro, big stuff, little stuff, all sorts on this wreck. Yeah, you guys are gonna love this. So let's jump in and go explore one of the top 10 wrecks in the world, the USAT Liberty. Woohoo! Let's See ya. go. Bye. As we're absolutely buzzing to be dropping down to go dive this famous shipwreck, one of the top 10 wrecks in the world, voted on all these different dive outlets, we were so excited to be dropping in. But the first thing we noticed is how amazing the visibility was. Now Holly and me have been diving in a lot of places recently, but the visibility has not been that great. So getting back out and diving somewhere with amazing visibility was so exciting for us, because we could just see everything around us and see just beautiful water and amazing marine life. As Holly points out another cushion star. If you remember from my Egypt videos, she loved pointing out cushion stars to me. But we slowly continue making our way towards this phenomenal wreck. You can see the rudder and the stern of this wreck just now. It is huge. The shallows of this wreck is around about 12 meters and it goes down to 30 meters but you just look around this wreck and it's full of life even garden eels just sitting there relaxing and some of them are pretty big now this wreck does get a lot of current on it so you can have dives where you have current kind of pushing you with towards the wreck now it will push you towards the wreck and run with you then on the way back you can have to swim against it but when we did the night dive on this wreck, which is coming up in the video soon, so don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss that, we actually had no current on the night dive. But on this dive now, it doesn't look it, but it does have current on it at this moment. However, a bit of history of this famous shipwreck. As we said, this was the USAT Liberty. It was a United States Army cargo ship, which was torpedoed by a Japanese submarine I-166 in January 1942 and it was beached on Bali, Indonesia. Now what's really interesting about this wreck, the fact it was torpedoed during World War II, it did not sink for another 20 plus years until that volcanic eruption on Mount Agu caused the vessel to slip off the beach and now rests in her resting place. Now the wreck itself, or should I say the ship, at the time of the United States entry into World War II, in December 1941, the USAT Liberty was in the Pacific. In January 1942, she was en route from Australia to the Philippines with a cargo of railway parts and rudders. Unfortunately, she was spotted by Japanese submarine I-166 on the 11th of January 1942 and was torpedoed about 10 nautical miles southwest the Lombok Strait. US destroyer Paul Jones and Dutch destroyer Van Ghent 
took the damaged ship in tow, attempting to reach Kaluk Bawang Harbour. This was a Dutch port and administration centre for the Lesser Sunday Islands on the north coast of Bali. However, as she was taking too much water on, she was beached on the eastern shore of Bali at Tulimban to salvage her cargo and fittings. But over time, with 20 years later, after the hurricanes erupted, it has now knocked this vessel into the ocean. As we move around this wreck, you just notice the scale of it. It was a huge ship, but because it's been down for so long, it is fully coralized. There's sponges growing on it. There's coral. He looks in the nooks and crannies, and you will spot mantis shrimp. You will spot nudibranchs everywhere. Eels, lionfish, schools of fish everywhere. And that's what makes this dive a truly awesome dive. You can see Holly just bouncing around, happy, absolutely loving this, as we explore around and are joined by Robert, who is joining along on the dives with us. He's visiting from the Netherlands and he was tagging along with us on the dives while his wife went to do her open water course at the Valley Dive Resort. So it was really nice to have him tag along with us and dive with us for a few days and go around exploring. He's an instructor as well, so three instructors diving together with our awesome dive guide, Yenda, which has made this awesome day of diving on this beautiful wreck. But as always guys, really hope you guys enjoyed exploring this famous historic wreck really popular with the cargo hold providing great opportunities for amazing photography unfortunately the cargo footage we got in the second eye and my gopro died but as you can see the cargo holds here when you go inside it it is beautiful to dive and explore as holly takes out her weight pocket and discovers she has a dorito bag still in it great for using for deep specialties showing the color change but as always guys as we're saying we really hope you had an epic time as we fight the current back towards the entry point of this dive site, back to the beach. But we had an awesome time, hope you guys did too. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. I saw that.